So you like rent to rent, you think it's for you, you think it's too good to be true, you wanna change your life, you wanna create cash flow, you've set up your business. And if you've not, then I'll put a link in the description, 12 steps, how to set up your rent to rent business, free, have it, just for you. Now you need to source rent to rent deals. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first way is direct to vendor. Okay, so that means you ideally want to get direct to the landlord, to the property owner, and then sell them the concept. Guarantee them the rent for three to five years, take on all the management, and naturally, this is really good for landlords that want to be hands off. They want to be hands free. They've got the property, but they've not got the time. And that's where you can add the value. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah, well, how am I going to persuade a landlord to give me their property? You know, if I'm paying them a thousand pound, why are they going to knowingly give me the property and let me do two and a half K a month on it? And the answer to that is because not everybody is motivated by money. And they actually say the wealthier people get, the more they start to value time because time is one thing that you can't buy. So follow the 12 steps to establish your business because what we're offering is really, really great for all parties involved and you need to just communicate that. There's many ways of getting direct to vendor, but the best way is to get on the ground, get networking, find out where there is to let or to sale signs and try and get in touch, whether that be knocking on doors, posting uh, notes. You'll know, I'm not a big fan of letter sends, snail, mail, fails, it's too long. Um, get on Facebook, get on LinkedIn and get 2021, okay? Um, the second way is through agents. So rather than you going on the ground and doing all the groundwork, you get on right move, you have a look at the properties that are actively available to let, and then you try and do the deals through the agents. Not easy, not easy, because you need to build rapport. You need to build a relationship and build a level of trust with the agents. But if you do this, you can get deal after deal after deal. Now in my area, I've got agents that I've done joint ventures with. I've got agents that pass me deal after deal after deal. Yesterday, in fact, I got an email from an agent that said, hey, Simon, do you know those, um, those four beds on Smith Street that you love? Well, I've got another one. Landlord's already seen your website. They wanna work with you. Can we do it? I've literally looked at the listing. I've said, yes, I'm in another deal. So once you do get agents on side, you could go clear. You could go big. So I hope that's helpful. As always, if you want more information, feel free to hit me up on Instagram, Simon Smith Online. You know, a little DM slide in the DMs. I'll get back to you straight away and I'll speak to you soon.